Hello everybody, so today we're going to learn how to duplicate your live site to your local host if you want to do some development or testing. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to download a plugin called Duplicator. So just click on plugins and then we're going to click on add new. And we're going to search for Duplicator. And the one we want is Life in the Grid. So we go ahead and install that. Mine's already installed, so you go ahead and, and download it and install it. And uh, then we'll look into how to use it. So once you have your Duplicator plugin installed, just go to it, click on it here. It will appear here. Just click on it. And what we want to do is create a new package. I've created a few packages prior, but you can create a new one. If you would just click on this one, it's called Create New. Go ahead and click on that. Now it's going to have some default settings. I don't really touch these, so I would suggest you just leave them alone also. Just go ahead and click on Next. Now it's scanning. Now sometimes it gives a warning, like for example, I've gotten a, a warning here because uh, my database is large. So, but that's that's okay, but that can stay. That just means it's gonna take a little bit longer to uh, to create. So once you're happy with everything here, uh, just click, click on build. Now it does take quite a while to build the, the package. So I'm gonna pause it here for a second while it builds it. So here we have it, the package has now been built and you're given two options. You're given an installer uh, download option and also an archive download option. So we wanna download them both. So I'm gonna download them both to my desktop. So just click on installer, download it to your desktop. That's a pretty small file, so it should download relatively quickly. So there it is, it's downloaded to the desktop ready then click on archive. That's a little bit of a bigger file and it's gonna take a while longer to download, but also download that to your desktop. I'm just gonna pause it for a second while it downloads. Now you may be presented with a message like this saying that it, uh, the zip file could be dangerous and it's warning you, do you really wanna keep it? So just right uh, click on here and click on keep because we know it's safe, it's coming from WordPress. So just go ahead and keep it. So now that the files have been downloaded to our desktop, here they are, here's one of them, here's the other one. What we wanna do is copy these two files. Let's go ahead and copy it. And then what we wanna do is we wanna go to our htdocs file. So, and, and that is found in our C drive, on the XAMPP file under uh, htdocs. And in here is basically where our, our, our uh, website will be. So we want to, we need to create a, um, a folder and I'll just call it demo. You can call it whatever you want. You might want to actually, you know what? I'll call it the name of my website, Veggie Tips. And you might want to do the same, just name it the same as your uh, website. I'm actually going to add, uh, uh, I'm going to add something to it. Give me one second here. We're gonna rename it just so that we know it's a demo site. I'm gonna add demo to at the end, okay? And what we wanna do then is open that folder and paste the folder that the we downloaded in here, the two files, okay? What we, wanted, what we need to do now at this point is to go to our um, XAMPP control panel, okay? Click on the admin of MySQL because what we need to do is to create a, a, a database. So we just log into it. Or another way to log into it is to just type in localhost just by itself. And you go down here, PHP, my admin. And same thing. So you go into databases and in here, type in the name of the database. So I'm gonna name it the same as the website, the veggie tips demo. Okay, so create it. There you have it, it's created now. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, install the, 
the pro the our live site to our local host. So what we do is type in localhost slash veggie the name of the folder we created tips demo. Okay. That should bring us to something like this, a directory file. You could also put installer at the end if you wanted to, but I just like to do it this way. And uh, But if you wanted to do it the other way, it would look like this. Type in installer.php. Let me correct the spelling there. Not xtaller, installer. There we go. So what this is telling us here that it passed everything, all the tests that I run. So what we want to put here now is the name of the database that we just created. We called it demo, or pardon me, not demo, veggie tips demo. And we put in the, the username for the database, which is root. And I, we created this in a prior video and the password for the data for the user also put that in. Now we want to just test everything. And it says everything's successful and that it's working. Now these advanced options, you don't really need to worry about them. There's a whole bunch of things there. I haven't even ever touched them. I wouldn't touch them either. So just leave them alone. Basically, put a check mark here. It says I have read all the warnings and notices. And then run deployment. It gives you a warning. Are you sure you want to do this? Basically host, uh, make sure everything's correct. Just hit OK. And now it's going to take a few minutes to uh, create the demo site. So I'm going to pause it for a little bit. So here we have it. It's been created. Um, this is the old settings veggietips.com. If you want to visit it, go ahead. I could use the hits. But it's going to change it to this. It does it all automatically. It, doing it manually, you would have to go into the code and change all this. But Duplicator does it automatically for you. You don't have to worry about any of that. So you just go ahead and... Uh, and do it like that, leave it like that. It's just showing you what's there. There's uh, some admin options if you wanted to add a new user, but if you had a live site, the user and the password that you used to log in will be the same one. So I would just leave that so that it's ready for when you reload it to your live site. Don't touch that unless you wanna change the user, but I would just leave it alone. There's some advanced options. I don't touch these things. I um, mean, just leave that alone also. Just go ahead and click on run update. Now this may take a little bit also. Actually, it was pretty fast right there. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. It's giving me one warning. I'm not going to really worry about that. Um, the thing we, we want to click on is you can click on the permalinks if you want to change your permalinks. Uh, but I want to leave them just as the live site. What we we're really interested in is this test site. And here, here's a copy of my live site. You can see everything looks fine. The pictures are picking up. Uh, everything looks like it's looking fine. So let's click out of here. We can click on a few pages just to make sure. Let me see, that looks fine. That looks okay. So let's go back to our uh, other page. We wanna run the file cleanup because this removes the installer files just so everything's nice and neat. Say OK. And we want to log in using the, the username and password for your real website or the one that you changed. You could have changed it here if you wanted to. I'm going to just log in right now. Oops. Give me one sec while I log in. go so everything's been cleaned up and your website has been installed you can just double check it if you like just go into localhost okay slash uh, veggie tips demo we called it right and there you go it's it's that easy and it's you're all ready to go so I hope you like this uh, tutorial you know, so don't forget to like, don't forget to share, and uh, drop any comments you like down there. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.